In our most recent video, we covered the astonishing, still existing, unexplainable fortification designs and other inexplicable architectural features which can still be found within nearly every district of modern-day Italy. We covered polygonal walls, multi-ton lintels still bridging ancient archways, resulting in the conclusion that much of modern-day Italy rests upon a pre-Diluvian foundation, stone relics from an era within history that has been hidden from the majority of the world for several centuries. However, thanks to modern technology and the power of communication in which it has provided, photographic studies, past investigators' research available, and a resulting far-reaching exposure of this overwhelming evidence across the globe all at the click of a button. The evidence we continue to share not only contradicts modern academic theories regarding the origins of such structures, but thanks to the ability to collect and compile this information digitally through the medium of computers, certain individuals with an acute sensory ability have not only been able to share volumes of noticed anomalies that for many years were overlooked, but have linked these factors together through characteristics and as such have come to a conclusion that the evidence to suggest a past highly capable civilization once flourished here on our planet is now overwhelming. A civilization that at some point within antiquity possibly came to an untimely demise due to cataclysm or transcended to a location or indeed realm we are yet to discover. Master stonemasons, once creating incredible polygonal structures, not only built with no mortar, but were capable of withstanding considerable onslaught, either from invading parties or natural disaster. A testament to this being that many still stand as proud today as when they were first built. A civilization that throughout our last few videos, initially aided by other compassionate, good-intentioned antiquarians, have been linking, thanks to their decision to construct such monuments with unique stylized block designs, possibly cast using as yet undiscovered advanced ancient technology, or indeed carved with as yet undiscovered precision stone cutting tools, which we have used to begin to identify this now lost civilization's work, ancient as yet unexplained ruins the world over, with this compelling complement of evidential factors supportive of our postulation of a past worldwide dominance. And although we personally hypothesize that the only logical culprit which matches our continued discoveries of their dominant existence, and indeed advanced nature, being that of the Atlanteans, this premise at this moment in time is not the most pressing factor regarding our research. Indeed, at this moment in time, it is vital that we continue to compile a solid thesis which will eventually, inevitably, make any academics claim as to a denial of their past existence inexcusable. Ancient stone relics, found in nearly every country on nearly every continent on Earth, with our next area of focus being that of the gigantic Cyclopean ruin which can be found within modern-day Bosnia. Known as De Orson, these ruins are not only a virtual match to ancient ruins we recently covered within Italy, but also as a number of alternative researchers have concluded, such as modern investigator Richard Cassero, Giuseppe Lugli, a past pioneering documenter of these sites, and indeed ourselves, are in fact some of the oldest foundations to be found on Earth, seemingly predating the more complex polygonal techniques witnessed elsewhere Although still possessing precision placement, it is of more uniformly shaped blocks. Predictably, however, academia has been forced, due to currently attested paradigm, to attribute these ruins to the Illyrian tribe, a group of people placed at the turn of the Bronze to Iron Age. Yet how this primitively equipped group accomplished such feats, quarrying, moving, and placing multi-ton blocks precisely atop one another 
is an explanation which is conveniently absent from academia's long and detailed description of the archaeological discoveries which have been permitted, collected, and subsequently displayed. De Orson was discovered in 1891, and not surprisingly, it has never been fully investigated archaeologically. Located on Gradina and Banye in Osanishi village, De Orson was once an immense and undoubtedly intimidating stone fortification, which we believe already stood at the site, leading to this group re-inhabiting it rather than building it undoubtedly giving them a considerable advantage over rival tribes within the area, providing a practically impenetrable barrier, a sanctuary, allowing them to flourish, reuse like so many other ancient unexplained sites we have covered, and put forth the same posit for this being the main reason many of the ancient civilizations we now know well, the Romans, Incas, Egyptians, etc., lasted so long providing academia with so much archaeological detail, which they have, in turn, used to claim such structures were the work of these clans. This claim always absent any satisfactory explanatory description as to how these cultures went about constructing such sites. It does, however, give a rather revealing insight into where many of their rapid technological developments arose from. Ingenious survival solutions not invented, but rather inspired, or more accurately, copied, from the remnants of the civilizations originally responsible for such builds, developments they would have full access to. The town of De Orson, we hypothesize, was embraced by this tribe, and as such, now displays many archaeological features of a Hellenistic city. They predictably developed a high degree of culture and civilization. Yet, intriguingly, within the district, there also still exists fragments of what were once human statues, all around 2 meters in height. Yet all permitted archaeological artifacts are conveniently dated from the 2nd and 4th century BC, housed in the National Museum of Bosnia, clearly in an attempt to strengthen a fallacy regarding this astonishing Cyclopean ruin's origins. Who built De Orson? How did they move such enormous stones placed with such precision? Why are there remnants of statues of individuals we would perceive in the modern day as giants? It is clearly an intriguing site, rarely shared academically, and not even fully archaeologically explored. A place we find, undoubtedly, highly compelling.